Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What the fuck? That's me. Case number 53322. Thrown down a... What? I guess that's me. Case number 53322.
yours. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. No, I don't think that's right. No, I don't think that's right. Is that what I look like? Really? Is that what I look like? Really? Is that what I look like? Really? Not getting out that way. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. Dr. Lin always recorded our... records our sessions. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you.
How did I even get back here? No, I don't think that's right. Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. 
You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. It was always too hot in this room. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Every time I saw her, I worried it would... Hi, Mom. So brave. Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. <sighs> Wait. Did I miss something? Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. It was always too hot in this room. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Mom. 
Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Thank you. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? 
You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? my job to keep the peace but no matter what I did Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks nobody could get him to go to school Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too... The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Mom's old sewing kit. 
Don't think I've ever even tasted. I can't believe they were ever this happy. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the cost. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Almost empty. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like we never really touched these after Mom died. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke. Again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Gabe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad! I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. no. Dad! Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. 
You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. <sighs> Play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz, fuck you. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. God. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. We weren't allowed. We weren't allowed. We weren't allowed to bring blasts into the dorms. So we had to drink. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was... I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I guess I missed a few days. How are you holding up, Shu? I can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. Yeah. 
It says here she's sensitive. What is that? I wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but she's just something... Oh. Broken. Wrong. With her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight.
got to find a way out of here. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh, if it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this stuff been down here? No, 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 come on, no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this. Getting close. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Dead, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was that? Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Thank you. 
back! Jen, you son of a bitch! Jen, you gotta stop, man. Jen! Fuck you, Jen! Come back! It's over, Jen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations, a bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Alex, oh my God. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? You know exactly what's going on. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. Hey. 
Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. This is an act! You're lying! Please. I know this is hard to accept. Do you all trust him? I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I believe you too. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything but i believe you i would like to speak this young lady came to haven as a stranger but over the last few weeks She's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart, you know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you.
How about you? I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. Alex, just... just give it up. You coward. <clears throat> <clears throat> you believe me, right? Ryan? Why are you doing this? My dad is not a murderer. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not going to let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but... Look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe it was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. <laughs> He was so nervous about it, and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because... It's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something... Feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. 
you would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you were too selfish to say those words out loud. There was so much to lose. The love of your wife. The respect of your son. The comfort and ease you had walking around the world. All of that mattered more to you than those men's lives. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right up. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air.
After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. Maybe Salem would be cool. I'm already an expert in witch trials. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. That one really hurt. I'm glad he held on to it, for whatever it's worth. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chen? John, and no. But I, I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Chad must have thought he was seeing a ghost the first time Gabe walked in. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. I guess he felt the same way. Even though it was hard, I'm glad I let Charlotte overcome her own anger. I think it gave her the strength to support me. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. I'm pretty sure my voice was already heard by everyone who needed to hear it. Is it weird that the part of this that bothers me the most is nondescript dive bar? I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truth. They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And these. I've been playing a lot the last two days, trying to think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing, 
is the only time I get to not think. Not think about Jed, or Gabe, or Haven, and wanting to move on from the pain, but not knowing how. Most of all, what I don't think about is me. Because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. When it comes to haunted mines, this game beats real life every time. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. I want to go outside without seeing anyone. That's why God created rooftops. The LARP was two days ago. That doesn't seem possible. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. I want to stay here, too. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. <laughs> you 
You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me begin to fade into the background. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you.
And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. Or wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? I know what I want. 